Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to StarCraft 2. I am your host, Rondon, and as you know, today is Tuesday, so it's going to be another fan cast or UCAP cast game. And today's combatants in the bottom left corner, coming in in the red color, is going to be Kashwir. Kashwir. Wizard. Kashwiz. It's going to be Kashwiz, rather. And in the bottom right corner, will be the Blue Terran, a familiar face, the man from SG, Mr. Monday. And I want to give a quick congrats to Mr. Monday. He is playing his placement plat pat meh, placement matches right now, but uh, I know the future, and in the future, Mr. Monday has placed silver. And for the first time, Mr. Monday has moved up from bronze to silver, at least the first time since I've casted him. So big congrats to him for moving up in the charts. And uh, we'll have to see how he plays in this new silver league, or at least new for him. And uh, again, uh, a note that Mr. Monday in uh, his email said that this game uh, might not be castable material, or it might be. He didn't know. And the fact of the matter is, I'm not getting enough replays from you SG guys, you UCAP guys, or you general fans altogether. Anyone, anyone is welcome to send me replays. I will look at them, possibly cast them, and frankly, if I'm only getting a handful of games, I'm going to cast all of you. As long as, you know, one person isn't sending me a hundred games, I'm not going to cast you a bunch of times. Uh, but any of you guys out there that want games casted, send them to me, and if I only have a handful, if you can fit into my queue, I will cast you. Uh, keep in mind, it's only going to be one cast. You know, I, I got others to cast. I can always do pro games. I don't like to focus on somebody a ton of times, but uh, if you send me like, one like once a month and I don't have a big queue of people I've never casted, I'm probably going to cast you. So send those over. I would love to do it. And in the meantime, uh, let's check out the uh, awesome combat we have going on here. It's, it's thrilling to watch. I mean, Probe versus SUV can't top that. Uh, you will, of course, notice a quick farm count lead for Mr. Monday. Um, I'm actually going to drift away from that because that actually is extremely boring. And uh, we can look at tech at the moment. We do have a cyber core coming up for Mr. Monday as well as a second assimilator. Uh, very nice for him. Uh, no wall off going down by Kushwiz. Uh, that is somewhat typical against Protoss for Terran, uh, especially in the lower league. Um, obviously, in the lower league, it can always be anything it, they want. Uh, but I, I tend to see less walling off against Protoss. Uh, they tend to do it against Zerg, I at least any player that has a sense of mind. And that would just be, honestly, from high bronze on. Uh, those guys at least find out some of the schemes, some of the tactics, and try to follow them, even if it's to their death. And this little placement of the supply table, I really like this. Because your, your options, obviously, are, are a wall off, which would be better. I wish he would do that. Uh, but since he isn't doing that, he is kind of setting it over here as a sort of spy or a decoy pylon, as Protoss often do as well. And if uh, Mr. Monday comes in here with any air units, Kushwiz is going to see it, as long as he's paying attention. And uh, that's, that's a very nice placement. Obviously, you can do that with turrets as well, and those get the benefit of shooting at your enemy. Now, Mr. Monday, uh, ooh, he actually misses that SCV, unfortunately. Uh, so, Kushwiz is going to see these two Zealots rolling in. Uh, he's going to go ahead and take out that SCV finally, and that guy was on hold position. Unfortunately, that means he's dead now. If he hadn't been on hold position, Kushwiz might have had the chance to get him running and uh, possibly send him home for survival. Fortunately, today, that will not be the case. Uh, Kushwiz, of course, has bunkered up. That is very wise precaution, as he does know Zealots, or at least on the field of play doesn't necessarily know if they're charging into his face and he has concussive shell on the way as well that is going to be good for him uh obviously with zealots coming in that is a a good ability a powerful ability uh especially with charge not on the field yet and uh, just now warp gate is finishing up right on cue with two more gates finishing that is very good play by mr monday i always like those timing abilities Oh, and check that out, a proxy pylon at the same time, Mr. Silver, just making it look like fancy footwork here. Gonna bring in that stalker, I would expect a few units to gate in here at any second. Uh, the gates have just converted, there are the warp ends indeed as well. Gonna come in here with 
three zealots, three stalkers, and a sentry. A nice little incursion force and actually might win the game for him. Oh, especially with Kushwiz out of position. He could even force field the ramp, keep Kushwiz out of his own base. The bunker, of course, is going to go down without any content station. Kushwiz is going to try and save his ramp. Will Mr. Monday force field it off? It would be a very good move if he did. Uh, not not going to get today. Uh, he's going to fully engage here. The few Marines, a nice shield going up. Going to definitely stop some of that damage. The Zealot's up there taking lots of damage. The Sentry, of course, is gone, but the rest of the forces, Horkish Wiz, are history. The Stalker's doing the very nice distance damage. And, of course, more Warpins coming up up on the, coming up on the Proxy Pylon. For Kish or Mr. Monday and Kishwiz is under serious pressure now. A few nice units there. Even an SCV joining in the attack party. Again, a zealot tanking damage, allowing those stalkers to get in there. Snipe off the Marauder. A couple of Marines remaining now, and this is all but Mr. Monday's game. I do not see Kishwiz being able to hold him off at this time. A few more Marines pop out. The SCVs honestly need to come off the line. That might be it, although they might just be hiding at the moment. Uh, these guys just doing what they want. Here come the SCVs off the line. The last dish effort by Kushwiz to try and take this game. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be enough, especially if they don't attack. They're just sitting there being an idle wall. There goes the attack. Uh, this stalker may go down. It's starting to look a little worse for wear on Mr. Monday, uh, but all the same, I think the damage has been done to Kushwiz. The uh, SCVs desperately trying to do their damage. Uh, they're starting to melt, though, to that onslaught. Another Stalker. Oh, why'd they stop attacking? So much bad micro coming out by Kishwiz. Could have taken that Stalker down a while ago. Would have stopped his damage. Unfortunately, now he's attacking one that is quite full health. Not attacking one that was low health. And uh, I don't think he would have won if he killed that one outright. Uh, but that's just a little bit of micro that Kishwiz could learn to possibly work better in a different situation where he wasn't so lopsidedly down. Uh, but either way, a very, very nice timing push by Mr. Monday. Obviously, fit these two gates finishing at the exact time Warp Gate did, or a little before. And then this pylon popping out right as that Warp Gate finished. Warping in a few units and hitting Kashwiz. And, of course, he did get lucky. It was a great timing push. Kashwiz was out of his base, having a tea party over here. I don't know what he was doing over there. And, honestly, that was a crucial mistake on Kashwiz. He had... Zero. Zero reason to be over there. Absolutely zero reason to be over there. Uh, if he was scouting, he should not have taken his entire army. And that, that was just a huge mistake by Kushwiz. It didn't lose him the game, but it opened him to lose the game, which, of course, he eventually did. So, either way, good, decent play out of both players. Obviously, better play out of Mr. Monday. He indeed took the game. Again, congrats to Mr. Monday for the Silver League upgrade. Uh, can, thank you for sending in the match. Uh, it actually was very castable. Uh, I enjoyed casting that. A very good Silver League game. And again, guys, as I said at the beginning of the video, if any of you want your games casted, uh, send me them to zerondon at gmail.com. The major restriction I ask of you is try to keep them under 35 minutes. Uh, I don't like to cast games that over that length, really. I will if they're epic. Uh, just leave that in mind. Uh, let me know in the comments. And, uh, of course, the email description as well when you email me those replays. Either way, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please do thumbs up and subscribe so I can bring you more StarCraft II content, more fan and pro games. And, again, I am Zerondin. I want to thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the other side.